up, ballers? Welcome to another Out of the Park video where we see how long we can go managing the Colorado Rockies without being fired and judging by the state of their front office at the present time, way too damn long. To start off, here are the before and after personnel hires. I truly believe that if I skip this, people would complain and I just don't want to hear it. For salary arbitrations, I offer contracts near the estimates with a couple of notable extensions. Josh Hader gets $16 million over three years. The guy is starting to get old, but this contract wouldn't be unmovable if he declines. But for the big spending, I give Andrew Vaughn $110 million over five years. I wish I could have a slightly better first baseman, but for what he offers, I don't think this is an unreasonable contract. I make several trades, of course, the first with the Braves, sending Jose Alberto Rivera, Christopher Rodriguez, and a minor leaguer for Mike Sriracha, retaining 35%, Josh Dillig, and three minor leaguers. I mostly did this to beef up the pitching a bit, and yes, I did intentionally call Soroka Sriracha. We want that Thailand sauce, the one with the rooster on it. Rooster sauce. Next trade is with the Padres, who send Taylor Trammell, retaining 50% for Brendan McKay and Brad Gundrum. I just wanted these two guys off my roster, and this was the best way to make that happen. Up next is a trade with the Orioles sitting Ross Dunn and Jeremy Earle for minor leaguer Angel Solano. Taking a look at his stats, he's not a great hitter, but has versatile defense so I can find a use for this guy. Last trade for now is with the Giants seeing Napoleon Armellini and Chase Davis for Brandon Marsh and two minor leaguers. I mostly made this trade for the minor leaguers. Joe Mack, Forrest Whitley, and Mackenzie Gore are non-tendered and subsequently released. To prepare for the Rule 5 draft, I had Danny De La Garza, Eric Hardy, Alfredo Ortega, Emmanuel Marcano, Alex Milan, Jeff Tupper, and Mike Hookstra to the 40-man roster. We reached the free agency period, and here are some of the available talent we have to choose from. I make two signings, the first being Asa Lacey, who agrees to a five-year deal worth $108 million. This should definitely help our rotation moving forward. The other signing is for Ali Sanchez, who agreed to be our backup catcher for $1.2 million this year. This is really a band-aid on this position for now, but I'll take it. We reached the Rule 5 draft, and I do pick up a pitcher in David Espinosa. Taking a look at his stats, he has the potential to be a mid-rotation guy, but I'm going to hide him in my bullpen for now. We reach spring training and Mike Sriracha is out for eight weeks, Bill Cardenas is out for five weeks, and Josh Hader is out for four months. Off to a great start. We make it to opening day with our pitching decimated, and here are the pitching assignments and lineup that I'm left with. As per the usual tradition, I play the... Uh, oh, shit. So here's what happened. I accidentally hit the finish today button without realizing that I was doing it, and it just so happened to be a double header. There were no rainouts or anything, it was just scheduled that way for whatever reason, so thank you devs. So instead we'll be playing game 3 of this season, which in a way is a little bit better because now I can manage my bullpen and give the people who pitched previously some rest. Here's the lineup I went with for game 3. I cannot believe I did that. This game was kind of close throughout, but this two-run home run by Haichi Hirabayashi helped us propel past the Pirates, and we go on to win the game 7-5. That was admittedly a very hard sentence for me to say, and I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to make it. Shortly after, Bill Cardenas is no longer injured and is sent on a rehab assignment, and Julio Rodriguez is suspended. Get off my lawn. Rob Parker is out for three weeks, and I call it Mike Hookstra in his place. These are my new pitching assignments. Danny Valdez is out for 13 fucking months. Are we fucking serious right now? Fuck! I call up Bill Cardenas from his rehab. These are my new pitching assignments. We make it to May doing pretty decently with an 18 and 14 record of 563 win percentage and our third in the division. We're in a tough division, but there's plenty of season left for us to make our move. These are my pitching stats as well as my batting stats. I make a trade with the Giants, hitting Brandon Marsh, perpetually injured Bill Cardenas and a minor leaguer for Seth Corey and a minor leaguer. I really needed to replenish by pitching a bit. To make this trade work, I call up Ismail Mina. These are my new pitching assignments, as well as my lineup. And Andrew Vaughn is suspended. I don't know, Monty. It looks like Vaughn's carrying his left a little low. This could hurt him in the later rounds. Rob Parker is no longer injured and is sent on a rehab assignment. David Espinosa is out for five to six weeks. What the fuck is my trainer up to? I call up Rob Parker from his rehab. These are my new pitching assignments. And now Tyler Glasnow is out for three fucking months. Seriously, when does it end? It was at this point that I stopped playing this game for about a week because I was incredibly aggravated. But if you think that did anything to calm me down, you are mistaken. I call up Josh Dillig in his place. These are my new pitching assignments. Emerson Hancock is no longer injured and is sent on a rehab assignment. Please
please fucking hurry. Mike Sriracha is also no longer injured and is also sent on a rehab assignment. We make it to June exceeding all expectations with a 38 and 22 record, a 633 win percentage first in a division. I have no idea how we're doing this well with our pitching and the crapper, but I'm certainly not complaining. These are my pitching stats, as well as my batting stats. I demote Emmanuel Marcano and call up Mike Sriracha, but it was at this point I discovered that Emerson Hancock is injured yet again and is out for another two to three weeks. What is this guy made of glass or something? These are my new pitching assignments. Draft time, and we have the 30th pick this time. Our first round pick wanted $4.8 million, but other than that, nothing of interest. Emerson Hancock is no longer injured again and is sent on a rehab assignment again. Mid-season goals time, and the owner is satisfied. I don't need your long-winded diatribes, dick. Please, Dick, it's getting cold. I could've killed you, Dick. I could've killed you. We make it to July only having lost seven games in the last month and have amassed a 57 and 29 record, a 663 win percentage, and are still first in the division. Again, no earthly clue how this is happening. These are my pitching stats, as well as my batting stats. I make a trade with the Yankees sending Rob Parker and Josh Dillig for Jared Branch. Taking a look at his stats, he's had flashes of success and his ratings are pretty good, though he lacks a third pitch. I'm still willing to take a chance on him regardless. To make this trade work, I call up Emerson Hancock at long last. These are my new pitching assignments. And Andrew Vaughn is suspended. Wait, really? Again? Asa Lacey is out for four weeks and I call up Bobby Clough in his place. These are my new pitching assignments. Mike Sriracha is out for four weeks. So nice he found time to re-injure himself. I call up Jose Medina in his place. These are my new pitching assignments. Josh Hader is no longer injured in a sent on a rehab assignment. When that rehab time is over, I demote Jared Branch to make room on the roster. And if you want to see why I demoted Jared Branch, take a look at these fucking stats. This guy sucks so bad in eight innings, he single-handedly was worth one-fifth of a game loss. These are my new pitching assignments. Last trade of the season is with the Orioles sending Josh Hader, retaining 15%, Elise Sanchez and Josh Sprayberry, for Ryan Vallade, Isaias Escamilla, and a minor leaguer. Mostly didn't want Hader hurting himself again and me having to pay for it. To make this trade work, I promote Sean Harris and Joey Ross. These are my new pitching assignments, as well as my lineup. Asa Lacey is no longer injured and is sent on a rehab assignment. We arrive at August still in a commanding position with a 73-41 record, a 640 win percentage first in the division. We are starting to slip, but haven't jumped completely off the cliff just yet. These are my pitching stats, as well as my batting stats. As per the usual tradition, I play the game after the trade deadline, and here's the lineup that I chose. This was a nail-biter, and in standard out-of-the-park fashion, Taylor Trammell managed to hit an inside-the-park home run, while the game didn't bother to show the animation because, again, the game is extremely flawed and it's shitty animations. But it isn't enough, and we go down to the Mets 3-2. I really hate this outcome, because we lost to the fucking Mets. Shortly after, Ronnie Mauricio is out for seven weeks. Great timing there. I call up Juan Alaniz in his place. This is my new lineup. Mike Sriracha is no longer injured again and is sent on a rehab assignment again. Tyler Glasnow is also no longer injured and is sent on a rehab assignment. When Lacey and Sriracha's rehab times are up, I demote Alfredo Ortega and Bobby Clough to make room on the roster. These are my new pitching assignments. Jose Medina is out for two weeks and I call up Tyler Glasnow from his rehab. These are my new pitching assignments. Mike Sriracha is out for one to two weeks. Oh. My. Fucking. God. It was at this point that I closed my laptop lid and stopped playing this game for about a month because I was so aggravated with it. That's part of what took this video so long to make because I just honestly couldn't deal with it. I call up Emmanuel Marcano to replace him. These are my new pitching assignments. We make it to September now limping along with an 82 and 61 record of 573 win percentage and are now second in the division. Now I'm worried whether we'll even make the playoffs. These are my pitching stats, as well as my batting stats. For roster expansion, I call up Jeff Tupper and Angel Solano. This is my new lineup. Juan Alaniz is out for four weeks and I call up Victor Barella in his place. These are my new pitching assignments, as well as my lineup. Emerson Hancock is out for seven weeks. Oh my god, seriously? I, I can't deal with this. 
It was at this point that I closed my laptop lid and stopped playing this game for about a month because I was so aggravated with it. That's part of what took this video so long to make because I just honestly couldn't deal with it. And yes, I reused the same clip as before, but given that we're doing the same things over and over again, I honestly don't feel bad about recycling it. I call up Alfredo Ortega in his place. These are my new pitching assignments. When Jose Medina's injury is fixed, I devote Bob Cossey to make room on the roster. These are my new pitching assignments. When Mike Sriracha's injury is fixed, I demote Victor Barella to make room. These are my new pitching assignments. And when Ronnie Mauricio's injury is fixed, I demote Angel Solano to make room. This is my new lineup. Thank God something changed there. We were just doing the same thing over and over. Oh, I'm supposed to put a cut scene here. Hmm. Okay. How's this? That's as good as it's gonna get. At long last, we make it to the end of the season, having won only eight games during the month to end with a 90-72 record of 556 win percentage, second in the division, and have tied the Brewers for a wild card berth. I'm not confident in our chances at this point, but we did make it to the playoffs. These are my pitching stats to end the season, as well as my batting stats. Usually at this point, I'd show you a player who had a terrific season, but none of them really did. So instead, I'll take you to this two-way player, Jose Medina, whose pitching was worth 0.6 wins above replacement and whose bat was worth negative 0.1 wins above replacement. Not exactly stellar by any means, but he could have been far, far worse or perpetually injured. We must set our playoff roster and here are the pitching assignments and lineup that I chose. As stated, we must play the Brewers in the wildcard game and he- <laughs> Wait, is that guy's name Raper? Let me see if I've got this straight. So Felipe Vasquez was in this game for way too long to start with. And now there's fucking rapists in this game? You ever think maybe they designed this specifically so I would come out and make subpar content and criticize them? Because honestly, I'm getting this impression. Well, let's hope that the raper strikes out at every opportunity. I don't feel bad about that joke. This game wasn't exactly an easy one. Gavin Lux got us started on the good note with this two-run home run in the bottom of the first, followed by this solo shot by Hayichi Hirabayashi in the bottom of the third inning. But unfortunately, our pitching just was not able to do the job, and we go on to lose to the Brewers 6-4, a disappointing end to a relatively disappointing season. As far as who won the World Series, the Tigers won in five. Hooray. But we ran into an issue before we found out who won. David Espinosa is no longer injured, but there was no way for me to activate him. I tried everything I could figure to do, but the guy was just unable to be activated and my only option was to release him. What a waste of a Rule 5 pick. To end the season, Mike Sriracha executes the remainder of his contract. Hopefully he's healthy during that portion. I execute the remainder of Sean Murphy's contract, and Ronnie Mauricio voids the remainder of his. And with everything that has happened, the owner is satisfied with my performance. Well, that's it. I'm probably going to stop the series at this point because I just don't have time to continue making these videos. If I do make another one of these videos, I will go ahead and start tearing down the team because we seem to be overly reliant on injured players and we can't sustain success that way. So until next time, adios pendejos. Yeah, you can leave now.